Hi chat, and welcome to another stream. How are we all doing today? Let's see, it is... It's Monday, it's April 24th of 2023, and we are back for yet another stream. Uh, it's been a bit, it's been a week since the last stream, and then a bunch of time before the, the stream before that. Uh, I was at PyCon, and so that's why I didn't stream. Um, yeah, well, I was, I, <laughs> I did some of PyCon. Um, but it was it was it was decent. Uh I spent the entire time at the sentry booth uh doing booth stuff and I am still exhausted from it. <laughs> One day I stood for nine hours, which is something that I don't intend to repeat because that was too damn long. Uh we didn't have chairs. <laughs> so next year hopefully we will have chairs. But um Oh, that's not good. Is it not working anymore? Hmm. We'll have to look at the uh, Dead Snakes Nightlies because it doesn't look like they've pushed in a while. Uh, but anyway, I'm back. Uh, I also did not have time to record videos yesterday, so we might go <laughs> We might go another week without videos. I have a really cool one coming up, though. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited about recording it, but I haven't, uh, I haven't got enough time to sit down and make that video actually happen um but it's about how i made every century page like a quarter of a second faster <laughs> which um yeah getting a, a performance improvement like that while not really intending to do that uh is 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 pretty significant so feel feels good feels good um, but yeah, the plan for today is to fix a little pigment bug, pigment CI bug, uh, that, um, one of the Python core devs ran into while adding more repos to the Python org for pigment CI. Uh, I think it's just that GitHub is bamboozling me again, which, uh, doesn't surprise all that much, but, um, yeah, we'll see what we can do there. Uh, there's supposed to be a setting to turn off the thing that's happening, so I think it's just, uh, I think it's just a mistake on GitHub's side, unless they change something, which also wouldn't surprise me. Uh, but yeah, that's the plan for today's stream. There's also a bug in PyUpgrade that we'll take a look at, and we might also work on some pre-mint stuff as well. But let me say hi to everyone who's here, and then we will jump into things. Let's see, JJMC was first. Hello, hello. Symphony X, good to see you again. You're not almost first. Very close. Marsh is also here. Hello, hello. Stonkfish says, not first, not last, not even here. What? But, but, but you're here. Grab his iPad. Hello, hello. How you doing? Thems Themstra, welcome to the stream. Wish I could go to PyCon. Uh, yeah, I enjoy PyCon for, well, PyCon has been diff very different for me each time I've gone. Uh, so the first time I went was in 2015, and I... I was relatively nobody, and uh, I guess Pikmin existed, but I was relatively nobody, and I mostly went to uh, see talks and stuff. T A L K S. That's how to spell them. Arc like Slavic! <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay. How you doing, Arkleg Slavic? Good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. Um, what was I saying? Oh, PyCon, yeah. 2015, I, I was in Montreal, and I spent all of the talk slots doing talks, T-A-L-K-S, not T-O-X, which I feel like I have to continually, uh, what's the word? Um, disambiguate every time I talk about them. Oh, yes, I'm also I'm sleepy. <laughs> I... I'm exhausted from the from 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 PyCon, but yeah. Uh and then I went in 2019 and it was very different. I spent almost no time watching talks. I think I watched two talks, T A L K S total. Uh one of them was on a subject that I was already a subject matter on, so it... <laughs> How you doing details? Um one one of them was on a subject that I well, I the two talks I saw were on subjects that I already knew a lot about. One was on um, basically Z three, but other equivalent technologies, uh, and the other one was about um, TLDR setup linters and pregamit. And uh, yes, it is a banned word. 
<laughs> why are you trying to get around the bands, Arclex Lavic? Don't do that. That's why they're there. Marsma, Lolo. Thank you for the reset at Oh, wait, Arlex Slavic, you are at two years. Holy shit. Thank you for your continued support. Marsma is at twenty-nine months. You've gotten your two years a little bit ago. Wolfred has also resubbed at nine months, which gets you a, a fancy new badge. It's good to see you again. Good to see you all again. And thank you all for your continued support. Hello, hello. Dino says, can you imagine GitHub admitting they're broken right now? Are they are they actually down? Is that going to make this a pain in the ass? Oh, fuck. They're super dead right now. They've been dead for a while, too. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. it, guys, thank you for the reset. At 23 months, you're almost to the two year mark. Speaking of two year mark, ELA has gotten to the two year mark. Wait, did your did you, your, your sub message didn't make it through? Oh no! Uh, and Preox has gifted a sub to Marsha. I don't. There's no, there's no buttons today, sadly, unfortunately. Coding blocked due to GitHub. Uh, well, there's still some stuff we can do without GitHub. Oh, did it get automated? <laughs> <laughs> did you say one of the banned words <laughs> welcome to sub to marcia thank you thank you preox i appreciate it ah uh, line indices uh-huh mm, yes <laughs> uh, well, let me continue saying hi to people preox is also here hello hello grandpa's ipad says just got back from 10 days in the netherlands germany and switzerland and now I want to move. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of my feel when I went to Italy. I was like, mm, this food is real good. And I can eat it all the time. Hmm, thanks. Rollers, thank you for the resub at 34 months. Yet another month. Yes, indeed, indeed. Thank you for your continued support. I hope that you're doing well. It's always good to see you. The Endless River, hello, hello. How you doing? Hope you had a great time. <sighs> I mean... Uh, yes. PyCon this year was very different. <laughs> uh, PyCon, PyCon this year was very different because I spent almost all of my PyCon time at the sponsor booth in, uh, first century for work. I, I visited Zero Talks this year. Uh, I guess I might watch... <laughs> the biggest lie about con conferences is being like, ah, I'll just watch them online later. Never, never fucking happens. No one's ever gonna do that. I mean, I'm sure some people do, but not, not me. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, yeah. Um, but the first day was actually really nice. Uh, we, we were, we were boothing from seven to nine p.m. or five to seven p.m. I don't know. Time zones are weird. One of the two. I don't remember. Uh, and it was very busy, which was actually very good, because it meant that we were always talking to people. Um, I don't know the Sentry product very well, so I was I was kind of bumbling around a product that I didn't know and be like, oh, this is kind of nifty. Oh, that's neat. But uh, yeah, bumbled around the product a little bit. Uh, but the first day was really nice because it was busy. And when everything is busy, like the time just goes, it just zooms. And yeah, you're talking a lot, but but it's fine. Hi, Ro J. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Um, but then day two started at 8 a.m. and it went till 5 p.m. and we didn't have chairs. And so I was standing around for nine hours. And there were bursts during that nine hours where there were a bunch of people that showed up. And, uh, uh that was, that was fine. Oh, and a bunch of viewers showed up, which was really cool. I think that was probably the highlight of my, of my, uh, PyCon was I, I saw so many of you, um, stop by and be like anthony i love your videos or like a bunch of people are like i don't comment in chat but i watch every single one of your explain series and i'm like oh that's really cool i appreciate that <laughs> but it felt really cool um i got pictures with some some of the viewers as well um and i also met up with a bunch of uh a bunch of open source maintainers which is basically what i did in 2019 that's like all i did in 2019 was was hang out with other open source people and not really good at talks. But, um, yeah, so that part of it was good. Uh, seeing viewers, giving out stickers, and um, and hanging out with, with open source maintainers. That, that part was fun. Um, but it was, it was exhausting. I was very tired. Uh, also, <laughs> also, the second day was not very busy, so I just 
fucking played Pokemon Go <laughs> the entire time. Uh, oh, I guess the first day there was like an after party that was like limited invite, which was which is kind of nifty. Um, a bunch a bunch of open sourcey people were there. Uh, I met the uh, I met Charlie, the maintainer of Rough, and uh, gr grumbled about things, but you know what are you gonna do there? <laughs> anyway, Bell Doth is also here. He says hi, Mister Anthony and Ethany. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Gotta go to sleep, so have a great stream. Well, thank you for stopping by. My weekend was okay. It was it was okay. Is it like the localist video? No, this one's uh it has to do with caching and I was trying to build something else and yeah. Dedals was also here. Hello, hello. Eli says it's it's anything ending in Y, yeah. It's true. And those all done, hello, hello, welcome, welcome. How you doing? Arc like Slavic. Hello, hello, Marsma. Wolfred's here. Uh Wolfred is just here for the taco meat. Ah, uh, well. Here you go. You're gonna have you're gonna have you're gonna have, you're, gonna have, you're gonna have little bit of taco meat, but I don't have buttons today. <laughs> Choco Jacks, how you doing? Thank you for the resub. It's seven months. It's good to see you again. Choco also streams in like fifteen minutes. <laughs> you're you're doing your pre-stream setup. <laughs> I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm I'm exhausted. Oh, I have new things in the background. I have new plushie. I managed to find one that was not excessively expensive. So now I have the the Pikachu Squishmallow. And um, P Pikachu sh is shaped like friend and is, is very squish. Um, I might rearrange the, the background so that you, you can actually see Pika Pika. Um, but for now, for now, for now, Pikachu hides behind me. We also have house, oh, house, 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 um, which is which is one of my partner's plushies, and B. Well, B's been there for a while, uh, but yeah, new 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 backgrounds. Oh, also, uh, nope, this this shoulder, I have car. <laughs> um, the dealership like three D printed these, uh, but it's it's. The, it's the model. It's, it's it's my it's my car, but 3D printed. I guess I don't I don't completely understand. It's it's very heavy, but um, yeah, car. Wait, was it this way or is it? This way? And it also has my VIN number on the plaque, so I don't really want to actually hang the plaque up, which is kind of weird. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Let me just advertise my VIN number <laughs> in case you forget. <laughs> I don't I don't know why. Oh yes, I have Noodle as a plushie. Yeah. <laughs> Noodle's been there the whole time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um Yes, yes. Uh, I'm still super far behind on chat. MDS Ubuntu, hello, hello. Good to see you again. Koenig guys, how you doing? ELA, hello, hello. Uh Priox we already said hi to. Wolfer says, take the shirt off. Hmm. 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 Rollers, hello, hello. Marzo says, winter video is coming back. Uh, well, I didn't have time to record this weekend, so probably, probably next next weekend, next week, unless I record today. Oh, did I say VIN number like an idiot? My vehicle VIN number. Fuck. Damn. Lofki, thank you for the resub at three months, which gets you a fancy new badge. It's good to see you again. I hope that you're doing well. And I appreciate your continued support. Topography says vehicle identification VIN number. Yep. Yep. That's the one. That's the one. Sensory threw you in a booth and forgot about you. Yes, Marsha. That is exactly what happened. But yeah. Uh, Priox says I have years of gonna watch the keynote later. Yeah, it never, never happens. Never happens. Stonkfish says I don't chat either, nor Marsha. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Hyro J says, nice, but there's lots of Pokestops. So that was the unfortunate thing, is there was exactly one Pokestop in in range of the booth. If I would have been, like, one booth over, I would have been able to get three, but... Eh, you can't, you can't pick them. Ethan! Holy shit. <laughs> three and a half years of, of subdom. Thank you for your continued support. I hope you're doing well. Did you make it out to PyCon? I forgot to ask. I should have asked, and then we then we could have hung out. 
Uh, <laughs> help! How do I exit, Vin? <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, rough, yes. Kelzian says, good to see you again. Any post-conference depression? Um, so, not really. I didn't, like, I, I know what you're talking about, and I usually get that sort of feeling where, like, you come home from TwitchCon, and you're like, fuck. I've been pumped full of endorphins for several days, and now I'm, now I'm sad. Uh, but... Didn't really get that this time, probably because I spent the whole time like working. Like there were there were parts of PyCon that were fun, but uh I think overall it was it was not energizing. <laughs> um but I don't know. There were there were some cool parts. Uh Pars is also here. Hello, hello. Well, 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 look who is back. I mean I did a stream a week ago. I just missed Saturday for the fourth time in a row. Uh, I already said hi to Chaco Jackson. Hello, hello. Uh, do 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 do. Aren't you streaming soon? Yes. Uh, I heard Day Nine called Pikachu a shitter yesterday. Hmm. Is is Pikachu a shitter though? Hmm. Hmm. Wait, Marsha, do you do you not do you not know? Did you not see my pictures from last time? Here, we'll 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 briefly flip through my my New York pictures. Uh, I guess you missed that stream. Um, yeah. Well, we'll briefly we'll briefly look at some some New York pictures. Let me let me get them all up, and then we'll switch to the other screen. Um, but yes, hang on, hang on. I got a copy paste on a dick sword. Real real pain in the ass. But um, we'll get we'll get our nice little slideshow here. Uh, they're not in order either. Ah, yeah, this one can be next. We'll leave the goofy ones to the end. <laughs> we'll leave the, the MySpace angles to the end. Um, but uh, the reason that I wasn't streaming um, a few weeks ago, or, or, or a week and change ago, is I went on a trip uh, with, with my partner to New York City uh, this is me in my strip bag. <laughs> oh my, okay, wait, story about the strip bag. Quick, quick interruption. <laughs> so when I was flying back from Salt Lake City from PyCon, uh, <laughs> I forgot that I had left my hotel water bottles in my backpack because I, I was using those as my like source of hydration while walking around. So I, I, I had forgotten that I put them in there until like immediately after I'd set my backpack down and it was too late. So the scanner obviously went off um, and it actually went off on both of my bags. I don't know why it went off on the second bag, but it definitely went off on the first one. And so both my bags were piled up and they had to do like the manual check through of them. And uh, the, the TSA agent picks up my strip bag and is like, is it Stripe or is it Strip? And I, <laughs> I explained to him that I used to work at Stripe and I was taking the letters off and I had removed the E first and then I said, fuck it, that's funnier than just like removing them all. So I'm just going to leave it at Strip. And the TSA agent thought it was so funny that he didn't search my second bag. He's just like, that's that's too good. So I, I'll just let your other bag off. You know, that was a machine error. And so, <laughs> and so he only searched one of my bags. But anyway, Strip bag come coming in handy there. Um, but that is, this is before the trip. Uh, here's, here's one of the many photos that we took on the trip where, uh, <laughs> there's tiny flowers, so we have to stop and take photos. Um, and so we took, we took up a lot of, a lot of photos with tiny flowers, uh, which are pretty cute, but here's us in, I want to say Union Square in New York City. Uh, we also went over to uh, some friends' houses and made macarons, or at least that was the intention, but we uh, we overcooked them a little bit, so they were kind of crunchy cookies instead of like your your, your typical macaron cookie. Uh, so instead, oh right, we can't arrow key. Instead, we ate them with ice cream. This was, mm, I don't remember the flavor, chai something or another. Um, but one of my partner's friends makes lots of ice cream and so uh, we had homemade ice cream with homemade crunchy cookies, um, and it was real good. Uh, this is us crossing Brooklyn Bridge 
with with slightly askew selfie and New York in the background. Uh, here's goofy goofy MySpace angle while walking the High Line in New York City, and <laughs> the last is uh, let's make the ugliest faces possible and take a photo of it <laughs> at at the Met in front of tiny flowers. <laughs> Uh, or, or maybe the prompt was let's see how many chins we can get <laughs> but uh, also also strip bag which I had to wear in the front because of the, the, the museum but anyway that was my New York trip so there's 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 cute photos I'll leave the one cute photo in case anyone asks later but anyway yes partner there you go house in B yes Wilfred says I see your neck survive the weekend as well I'm proud <laughs> Uh, is the background always so blurry, like like behind me? No, it actually fuzzes in and out because my camera does derpy things. But uh, actually, huh, that's weird. Maybe it's because I sit. Oh, yeah. Right now I'm all right up in front of the camera, but usually usually I'm uh I'm chilling a little bit more. But um, yeah. Anyway. Type racer car. Hmm. How did I get it? My my dealership had my address and they just mailed it to me. So that's that's how I ended up with 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 tiny car with VIN number, VIN VIN identification number on it. <laughs> Vehicle VIN identification number. <laughs> I just made it worse. Yeah, I was intentionally making it worse. Ethan's also here. Low low. Lofki's also here. Oh, but you're doing well. I am indeed. I am indeed. Ethan's here. How you doing? Stonger says, check out my VIN number while I punch my PIN number at the ATM machine to get money to pay for my Nick card. Yes, yes, indeed. Can't wait for 69 months. It's pretty close. Uh, Ethan says, couldn't make it to PyCon this year? Uh, oh, well. I'll probably see you next year. Or maybe when I am in Bay Area at some point, assuming that happens. Um, but always, always, always nice to see you. Mr. Singh! Thank you for the resub at 18 months, which I believe there's a, I think there's a fancy badge for that. Good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. Metalstorm's also here since I thought of you the other day. Oh no. Oh no, what did I do this time? Oh, you were at the, oh right, you were at um, KubeCon, right? Uh, do I know any of these people? I probably do. Oh, wait, I know this guy. Shit, what is his name? I should know his name. I know this guy too. Uh, fuck. Hmm. Well, I'm bad with faces and names, so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna not linger on this one too long. <laughs> uh, bum 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 bum. Savonio X says, "Do you ever do sports?" I feel so inactive and lazy these days. Yeah, I do a bunch of sports. Well, I've done a bunch of sports. I played baseball when I was a kid. I played soccer when I was a kid. But I feel like kind of everyone did uh, around my age and place. Um uh nowadays I cycle, I go climbing. Uh during the winter I usually go skiing, although I haven't done done that in a while. Um I run. What else? Surely there's other things. I am forget. Uh, but yeah, I, I've mostly been into climbing and biking recently. So, um, but I've been doing I've been doing climbing for a couple of years now, and indoor bouldering to be specific. Uh, and I I've been running since like college and cycling since I was a kid. But um, yeah, it's fun. I enjoy it. But yeah, I do I do some sports. I get I get some muscles. I have tree chunks for legs. Every day is leg day. <laughs> uh, Marcia says, I'm going to heckin' lie down because I'm always a tired bun. Oh, wait. Did you... <laughs> you missed the pics and then I didn't show you the pics. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, Parson says, what did you enjoy the most from the whole trip? Uh, to, New to New York or to PyCon? I think to PyCon, I would say... Uh, I would say that meeting viewers was probably the thing I enjoyed the most. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Eli, Eli says, did you buy a belt so your pants didn't fall down? Wait, how do you know about that? I feel like I didn't tell chat that. 
Did I not tell that? I feel like I didn't tell that story. Anyway, I've lost a little bit of weight recently, and so my jeans don't fit very well. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so the entire nine hours that I was standing during the conference. Oh, I said it in Discord. Okay, yeah. I talked about the power stance. Okay, I said it in Discord. Okay. Yeah, the entire the entire nine hours, I basically had to stand like, like po power stance mode so that my pants didn't fall down. I'm wearing sweatpants right now because otherwise, yeah. I, I, we would, I would have a problem, but <laughs> I didn't buy a belt. That would have been the smart thing to do. The strip bag. Yes, yes. Uh, it has a stripper clothes in it. Hmm. You mean it has no clothes in it? Hmm. That's how you got your drugs through TSA. <laughs> uh, strip references could probably go two ways at TSA. Ooh, uh, mm, yeah. Hmm. Staring at the sun? Eh, kind of. Poseidon TV? Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Tiny flowers check, yeah. Marcia says, where did you meet? Uh, does she stream code two or is she normal? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> she does not stream code. Uh, she's a software, software dev, though. Um, we met, uh, well, we originally met at a house party that was organized through the I say organized extremely loosely uh, by a college friend of mine and former roommate. Uh, but yeah, so we met, met at that and didn't really talk much after that or at all. I guess not at all <laughs> until uh, I thought I saw her at climbing. And so I messaged my roommate, my old roommate again. I was like, hey, do you know if... Uh, her name goes goes climbing i thought i saw her at the gym today uh and yeah we we connected through that and started climbing together and then um started hanging out and uh going on 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 dates and stuff and uh yeah anyway and then we went to new york <laughs> Uh, Ramsey's two, 2099 thank you for the follow welcome welcome hopefully you're doing well fake system d oh yeah i saw that I wonder if this is uh, similar to like Dominate. Oh, no, this is a bad system CTL with Bash. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Grandpa's iPad says, how many gift sets to get an invite to your wedding? Oh, no. I'm so far behind on chat. Ah. Uh, Mr. Singh, hello, hello. Good to see you again. Ethan says, hit me up if you're in the bay. Will do, will do. New badge, indeed. Nice. Uh, Mr. Singh says, work's been hard. I've missed streams. Yeah, I feel you there. I understand that. Uh, Metal Storm says, yeah, cube gone. Nice, nice. I know these people, but actually, nope. I mean, I think I would be like, hey, you work at Sentry if I saw them on the street, but I wouldn't remember their names. Oops. Uh, because the problem is, uh, I work remote, so I really only see people over meetings. Like, like over the internet in in Google Google Meet or whatever the fuck it's called, and many times I see people and they're in rooms with a bunch of other people, and so it's not like individuals where you can tell who the fuck is who because it says under their under their picture what their name is. So it's like, oh, you you are a person that lives in the Vienna office, and yeah, but I don't actually know. In service says, is is the Rye thing the new rough? I haven't actually looked at Rye. Uh, that's Armin's project. Um, from what I understand, it mostly just eliminates the bash clue, but it's also very similar to the thing that I've been building that I haven't uh, finished yet. But buy yoga pants, problem solved. I could not get away with yoga pants, Parzit. There would be no secrets to anything below the waist. And I I don't think I can get away with I can barely get away with sweatpants. Like <laughs> yeah. mm. me and yoga pants would be a problem. But uh Mental Storm says, should have just found an Ethernet cable and used it as a belt. That is actually a really good idea. Has somebody patented this or like mass produced this idea 
Because I feel like that's a pretty good idea. To like give nerdy nerdy belts, but they are they are cables with connectors. Hmm. But at the same time, if you saw some hmm. Gotta think about this one a little bit more. Supers are the only correct I don't know what that is. What is that? Do I wanna Google this? Am I making a mistake? What the fuck? What the fuck are these? Why can I not go to images? There we go. Wild. Huh. Interesting. Anyway. Uh, Tography says I'm normal most of the time. It's true. It's true. He already forgot her name. No, I didn't forget her name. <laughs> That'd be pretty bad. Uh, Ethan says, neat. I'm considering starting to go climbing. Yeah, I was very hesitant for the longest time. And, uh... At least for me, the first time I went, I was terrible, but it was a lot of fun. And you slowly get better over time. And it's less... It's less of, like, a strength thing and more of, like, a... A thinky thing. Uh, so, I, I like, over time, it's it's a lot of technique. Less so than, like, being strong. I mean, being strong gets you a long way, but... Uh, yeah. 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 Marsh says, cute. Okay, now I get in the photo. Okay, you did, did, did get to see the photos. Nice, nice. Nancy, it's Lolo. How you doing? Marsh says, imagine the partner going in chat saying, don't say it. Well, she, I mean, she, she's, she's, she's here. She's here, chat. <laughs> she, she's also really good at type racer. <laughs> Dean says, nice. Didn't know about PyCon. Oh, yeah, it happens every year. Uh... If it's your first time, I'd recommend going and seeing talks rather than uh, rather than hanging out, seeing so get that experience. But also, I think hanging out is pretty nice too. Dota, hello, hello, how you doing? Here for the list comprehensions. Well, we'll write some code at some point. I promise. Imagine working. Yeah. Mm hmm. Not sure I've ever seen anybody write one. I usually write list comprehensions. Topography says, tips for finding romantic partners at a gym. Get their name wrong while introducing them to all your climbing friends. Hasn't failed me yet. Yeah, so the first time that uh, that we went climbing together, <laughs> uh, my partner introduced me to all of her friends as Andrew. Uh, and wait, and then put, put me in her phone as Andrew also? <laughs> so uh, I'm Andrew now, chat. But, uh, it's fine. I've cashed checks as Andrew before. Don't don't tell don't tell the 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 government the money government. No, I don't even know who would make that a problem. Uh, but yeah. Person says bye. Well, thank you. Oh, bye. Oh, because reported. Oh, because yeah. <laughs> the, the snipers have already sighted me. <laughs> I'm dead now. Uh, person says this is one thing that makes remote work feel like it sucks. You can't socialize with colleagues. Yeah. I miss that a little bit, but at the same time, like, I feel like I drink a lot less alcohol by not being in an office, in a way. But, yeah. And the k k k yeah, it's true, Stunkfish. I I have I have the train tr the tree trunks the train trunks yeah the train trunks. Uh, Eli says it's PyCon. You have to use a snack. Yeah, mm, I don't know how you would get a snack to. Hmm, I guess you could tie up a snack. Hmm. Person says, I knew a sysadmin that did this with Ethernet cable. That's kind of that's kind of great. I love that. RJ45 belt buckle. I was I was imagining just the whole belt. Get it in like a funny neon color too. I bet that someone's already done this. Yeah, almost certainly. Dean says, you can work from a cafe if you're craving human contact. I guess. But I feel like that's harder to do. It's harder to do in, in, in the pandemic times. Uh, Mastar TM says, hello, my friend. I want to be a coder. How can I start? Can you give me some advice like a beginner guide? Yes, yes. Oh, I dropped my fidget toy. Uh, getting started programming. This, does this still work? Is this still on? There you go. Try out that video. That has my general advice for getting started with programming. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, wait, you have a link to a uh, RJ45 belt buckle? 
Hmm, okay, yeah. This was this was this was this was a similar idea. Fuck off. Stupid Reddit. But I feel like is it actually going through the belt loops? Hmm. Hmm. A patch cable and an RJ Oh, he didn't or they didn't uh uh they didn't um cut the cable to precisely the right length. They just double looped it. Yes. Nice. Nice. Ethan says, I did some climbing when I was younger and really enjoyed it, but it's been a long time. Ah, ah, yes. Um, Andrew writes code doesn't really roll off the tongue. Yeah. It would still be AWC, though. <laughs> Thanks for Jane. Hello, hello. How you doing? Good to see you. I prefer my commute personally. Yeah. I prefer my, uh, <laughs> honey, I'm home as I shuffle from the office to the bedroom. <laughs> or the kitchen. Yeah, sure. The kitchen. <clears throat> Uh, Rat Tramp says, I've been working from home since 2014. I vastly prefer the flexibility. Yeah, I mean, when I was commuting to, like, either the Lyft or the Yelp office, like, commute was easily, like, an hour and a half a day of just, like, unpaid time. But, yeah, it's nice to, uh, hang out at home. Uh, Rat Tramp says, what on earth do you enjoy about commuting? Uh... I, I'm pretty sure Fixer Jake was was memeing about their uh their their zero commute. Their lack their lack thereof. Uh oh that's the thing my commute is from my bed to my office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First it says, do you use a travel router like a true dork nerd or at least a VPN? Well VPNs don't really do anything for you. VPNs are only useful if you're on like open Wi-Fi and you're viewing stuff for HPP. Um but there's literally no website over HTTP anymore that is meaningful, so why bother? Um, I guess DNS, but like, I I I could give half a shit if uh, if um, if somebody knew my DNS lookup, and there's DNS sec and you know one 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 or other things to avoid that, but like, well, I guess. <laughs> Oh no, Cloudflare knows my DNS, but they decrypt half my traffic anyway, so it's not really different. But. Uh, Stonkfish says, I have a lot of spare Cat 5e and RJ45 connectors, belts starting at $60 shipping in three days. Yeah. <laughs> right. All VPN providers are garbage if they're cheap. Yeah. Self hosted VPN? Yeah, I just don't have time. Yeah, it, it, I have not reached the, uh, the cost benefit for that. Joe Mega, welcome back. Thank you for the resub at one year, which gets you a fancy new badge. It has been a while, but I feel like you've been here a lot longer than that. Right, uh, follow Ange, the gel mega. Oh, no, that didn't tab complete. There we go. Three years, three, yeah, you've been here for four years. <laughs> God damn, it's been three years and 10 months? It's been forever. <laughs> The self-hosted VPN really only helps you at home, otherwise you're leaking your IP address to all your DNS providers. Yeah. Yeah, true. <laughs> uh, unless you have fixed IP and you've written down the IP address, that would also work. I'll do this later. Shaz, thank you for the resub at 17 months. <laughs> Just here for carpet. You're not here for brand, brand new squishy Pikachu? What? <laughs> but, but, but why? <laughs> But good to see you again, Shaz. I hope you're doing well. Damn, you're almost at three years. That's crazy. It's been a long ass time. Uh, okay. I I'm Anthony writes code, so in theory we should actually write code today. But before we do that, I need to figure out whether the nightlies are broken. Uh, because I don't see any updates from three ten or three nine. Although I think three ten might not be a thing anymore. I might have gotten rid of that one. Oh, I ran fourteen hours ago. Did I archive this one though? Yeah, okay. Okay, it's fine. I guess there's just no code updates, so. It's all good, it's all good. Jumping so says, I'm here to preach the superiority of Blahaj. Totally not biased as I'm trans. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I think it's really cool how uh, Blahaj has become a trans icon. Uh, the the uh, Ikea shark. <laughs> but um, yes, Blahaj. 
I don't even know if I'm saying it properly. That's I've never heard it pronounced out loud. That's just me in my head. But Jess says, we're getting this Kotlin project for my last dev class. When do you, when do you graduate? Very soon? Like, don't you graduate in like some number of weeks? Aren't you, aren't you almost done? You're at the finish line? June 15th. Nice. Nice. The end is in sight. You're almost there. Um, I kind of like Kotlin. I feel like it's nicer than writing Java. Um, it's, uh, it's, um, yeah, and they finally added trailing commas, right? And there's the nullability stuff. Which in small projects doesn't really make a big difference, but in big projects, oh boy. Makes makes a huge difference. So I guess says I've got two a fifty five centimeter one and a one meter one. I'm trying to think about that. One meter one meter is actually I feel like one meter is not that big. But maybe fifty five centimeters is like this, right? around here and then a meter is like like this it's kind of big i guess it's kind of big it is uh speaking of bahaj i decided i'm envy recently i might need to get one well get one <laughs> the end the end is indeed inside zithrius you're also I, you're also in school uh if i if i remember correctly in fact well maybe i shouldn't say more i know more about <laughs> you being in school <laughs> Uh, Dota says, I've never written Kotlin. I really like Java, though. Hmm. Java's so boring. Java has optional. Yeah, but, uh, Kotlin has, like, strict, strict null. So, like, in Java, any variable can be null. Oh, wait, does new Java have optional? Nah, this is, like, a wrapper box thing. This is this is different, right? Cuz cuz in Java in Java any reference can be a null reference. Whereas in Kotlin, um in Kotlin, uh you have to explicitly mark things as nullable and unpack them in a null safe way which gives you a lot more, it, it, it basically eliminates null pointer exceptions, NPEs. And uh, is pretty is pretty nice because ra random, random uh, null reference exceptions are, are, are real annoying. But yeah, about three foot four. Yeah, 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 about, about like that. It's bigger than your Pikachu, it's true. True, yeah. It wouldn't fit in my uh, wouldn't fit in my 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 rack, my bookshelf, my whatever the fuck this thing is called. Uh, Yushi, I definitely said that wrong. Rekshin, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. How do I say your How do I say the first half of your name? Algolthorpe. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Strychnol does sound better. Yeah, you basically just never see no pointer exception ever again if you do it right. Uh, C sharp is the same way. Very much prefer. Wait, did C sharp switch to null strengthness? C sharp nullability. I feel like you could always have reference types being nullable. Ooh. Oh, this is new. Ah, it's a, it's an option. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. How does it work? Does it just force you to use optional types? <sighs> Learning dereferencing null, yeah. How do you annotate? Or do you just not annotate and everything that's annotated must be present and then anything that is knowable? Oh, I guess it's with the annotations. Okay. Ah, uh, question mark. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is 
Potentially knowable. Default will be no and nice. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's good. As it should be. Sweet. I didn't know C Sharp had this. Uh so that's nice. Gus Round, thank you for the resub with Prime at three months. Appreciate your continued support. That'll get you a fancy new badge. It's good to see you again. Welcome back. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Ethan says, gotta wait until I get a new job to buy a Mlahange. How's, how's your job search? God, fucking job search right now must suck. I'm so sorry. Oh, I don't really want to search for jobs ever again. It's not fun. So I guess says I want generics. Java, we have generics at home. Generics at home are just type erasure and duck typing. Yeah. Well, the compiler kind of enforces them. You at least get that. Uh, runtime generics. Mm, I don't quite know how I feel about runtime generics. Like I, I feel like you shouldn't. I feel like a part of me feels like you shouldn't be able to reflect generics at runtime. But at the same time, hmm. I don't know. Dota says, C-Sharp seems to underline if it could be null, so it seems different than Java in that manner. Yeah, but it looks like you can enforce it with the compiler. You can probably upgrade the warnings to errors. Um, C-Sharp 10. Okay. <laughs> yeah, last the last uh, .NET version I used was 4. 4 had just come out the last time I worked with a lot of C-Sharp. But I think the .NET version is different than the C-Sharp version. Something? I don't know. A sub dude. Hello, hello. How you doing? The virtual versus final thing. Uh, optional parameters. Yeah, that stuff's new. Virtual and final has to do with inheritance and how methods are looked up. Wait, virtual. Is that overridable? I know how virtual works in C. Well, I like to pretend I know how virtual works in C++. <laughs> uh, but it's much more complicated than I make it out to be. I saw a dude. Hello, hello. I think I said hi to you twice. Well, there you go. Hello, hello, and hello, hello. Uh, Rection says, thanks for the vids you put up, by the way. Very helpful. Was learning PyTest last time, coming from JavaScript, and it's been a really big help. Nice. Glad glad you enjoy them. Trying to learn pre now, though. Ah, uh, yeah, I should really put about, put out a video about the software that I wrote that I have never been, been able to uh, distill down into a video. Maybe I'll just do, like, a quick start video. Maybe I'll talk about specific topics. I don't know. I think I, I could talk about pre for years. Uh, cause at this point it's, it's been years. Actually, somebody pointed out a very interesting statistic the other day, which is that pre-commit has 10.2 K stars and pine test, pine test has 10.1 K stars, which feels wrong. <laughs> it feels like, it feels like pine test should have more stars than pre-commit. But I wonder if we look at like star history. This graph sucks if I remember correctly. Um, pre commit, pre commit, pi test, uh, pi test. Not that it's a competition, but I'm kind of interested to see this. I know pi test reset at some point because it moved from um, Bitbucket. But actually, it doesn't even look like that. It just looks like pre commit has accelerated. Whereas PyTest has been a relatively steady increase in stars over time. Slight acceleration here, but pre commits is very, very, uh, what's the word? Geometric. But kind of neat. Uh, Fixer Jake says strings, since they don't have a default, are null by default unless you have a constructor. Or you can say it's required, which will make it a syntax error. Oh, nice, nice. Arsa says, give chat a poll. What language will be the primary of Anthony's anthonks in 10 years? Well, the problem is I can't know what languages will exist in 10 years. Um, but I would probably guess Roost. Unless Roost dies, which is certainly possible. Ethan says, a friend of mine pointed out Go really read it, Java's generics mistake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Go also went through Java's boxing mistake, too with their like weird interface garbage and the like runtime, not runtime, not exactly runtime, but they're weird, they're weird inter... I, I, I prefer not to write Go if I can get away with it. <laughs> it's a project setting, nice. 
Still, still very, uh, it still is different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Zethu says, I believe I've applied to 150 positions, but the only one that I got a response from was one where I had a referral. Oh, actual hell, yeah, that sounds awful. I feel like right now is maybe the, um, maybe the worst job market I've seen for tech in a while. Uh, which job? Yeah, I'm. I don't really want to lose my job. <laughs> I don't really expect that, but um, let's see how my backup job is going. <laughs> uh, oh, this number's bigger than last time. Okay, slow growth. Slow growth. Uh, Priak says, oh, yeah, yeah, since four. Okay, I understand. That's why people are saying it's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Few changes since four, yeah. Uh, Dota says, any tips on understanding programming languages themselves better? I implemented locks from crafting interpreters. Not sure what else I could do. I actually do not know PL theory at all. Well, maybe I do know it, but I don't know it by that name. Uh, this is one of the things that I want to learn, is PL theory. I'm not going to write my own language. If I write if I write my own language, yell at me, chat. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. Um, but uh, I would like to understand programming languages better. I would also like to understand compilers and parsers. I've written so many terrible ones that uh, that I would love to not write more terrible <laughs> parsers. <laughs> but then it says Jake lives in the future. Nice flex. Oh, fixed check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Asad dude says, you did appreciate the repeat too. Indeed, indeed. Jumping says, also built my PC with a temporary case, so now my machine is quite a beast. Uh, 7950X3D. And, uh, I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's a Threadripper. 7950X3D. Oh, tab completes. It is. Or is it? Well, it's, it's a AMD processor. I know that much. It, it, I, I don't, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I only know Intel stuff and Intel and NVIDIA, unfortunately. Oh, you have a 4090. Damn. 64 gigs of RAM. Nice. Nice. Exponential. Eh, I think it's less than exponential. Exponential is more like, boop. this is more, I think either parabolic or, or geometric. Hard to, hard to know. Um, Pretty bad time to get into the industry. Everything I see is senior plus. Yeah. Ethan says I'm worried I might have to work for some crypto shit. Oh no. I guess, you know, uh, as, as my partner was saying, sometimes you just, you, uh, your, your work is your work. You, you smack the money pinata and then you go home. Um, it's like, might be what you have to do, at least in the short term. But, uh, Dota says, I grabbed locks from that book, wrote tests around it, and refactored it. It's not really writing my own. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. I still think, like, the, the hardcore PL theory is, oops, wrote a programming language. <laughs> but I don't really want to do that. Mr. ELF man, or Mr. Elfman, one of the two. The theory is so overcomplicated for, for something so simple. Computer science people are wannabe mathematicians. I mean... <laughs> So some of them fall off the, the math end and they 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 become the maths. But I mean in a, in a way I I almost became a a math person. I was going to do a math major, but then I uh <laughs> uh but then I did research into what you could do with a math degree and the top 2 positions were uh Math professor, barista, <laughs> and then somewhere after that was like actuarially and finance and stuff, finance math. But that wasn't the, that wasn't the kind of math that I was interested in. I didn't I didn't care about actuarial. But uh, CS is literally a bunch of math. I don't know that it is. It's it's not always that. But yeah. Stop the cap. Is it literally or is it like? What? Are you trolling? <laughs> I don't speak Zoomer here, <laughs> right? Uh, funnily enough, I can now develop for both NVIDIA and AMD GPUs. Oh, because you have an integrated GPU. Oh, interesting. 
See, this is what the math department realized they had to be to get applications. <laughs> yeah. I had I had one class in college, which I really disliked. It was Eeks 376. And I remember the first day, and, and when I knew that I was not going to enjoy the class, because the professor went up to the board and said, Hi, this class may be called Eeks 376, but I am not an Eeks professor. I am a math professor. And so this will be a math class. Uh, if you would like to drop or transfer, please do so before the ad drop deadline. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> I literally need this class to graduate. I don't have a choice. I can't fit it in anywhere else. This is my last chance to take this class so that I graduate on time. Well, guess I'll suck it up and do well. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Yeah, he was he was an awful teacher. I got ex extremely lucky. What is EECS? E E C S. Engineering, uh, electrical engineering, and computer science were all bundled together into the same uh, class structure, despite being, you know, wildly different. Uh, I wonder if it still is that. I think it still is that way, but I feel like it shouldn't be. But. Fish Jake says, I had to take math for my CS degree, but I didn't have to use much of it. Yeah, I didn't have to take, or maybe I did have to take math, but I was like, I took math because it was fun. I took like a bunch of calculus because I really enjoyed it and uh, differential equations. Um, I thought it was fun. I don't know, I'm a psychopath, but uh, so when it, when it came to requirements, I didn't even have to think about it, but. Uh, professors teaching math for EE are the worst. This happened to me at Berkeley. Oh, no. <laughs> School's a weird man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Briox says, all you smart peeps going to college and stuff? Uh, I think more and more, like, uh, it's not super necessary. I think college was useful for networking and having having the initial job. After that, it super doesn't matter. Victor Jake says, we were PCSE, physics, computer science, and engineering. Whoa, were you at like a really, really small school to combine all those two, all those together? I feel like those are pretty different things to lump. But uh, arrow bounce. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the resub at eighteen months. It's good to see you again. <laughs> your legally obligated monthly message. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for your continued support. Uh, Dota says, I wish I took electrical, though I work for manufacturing companies, it seems, so chemical fits. Ah, uh, well, I was going to be a doctor, so I started in biochemistry. Uh, I ended up with a biochem minor. I should have had a math minor, I just didn't apply for it. I think I had all the requirements. I just didn't do it, lol. Victor Jake says, we had to take up to Calc 2 and linear, didn't have to take differential equations. Ah, uh, so my linear algebra and, lin and differential equations were in the same class. Uh, and they called it Calc 4, and we also did some calculus stuff in it too, despite them all being kind of different. But, yeah, it was, it was, it was, I thought it was fun. Uh, <laughs> I actually took Applied Honors Calculus, which sounds fancy, uh, but what it ended up really being is just smaller class size calculus and, like, a little bit harder exams, and much, much smaller class size, so, like, Instead of being in a lecture hall, it was in a class of like 25 people um, and better, better teachers. <laughs> but, and the, I guess the applied part, we did do some like real systems analysis with it instead of just like wildly theoretical or like very boring stuff. But I don't know, I thought it was fun. I don't know that my classmates thought it was fun because that class was curved. Um, <laughs> uh, the the professor had to change how it was curved though because <laughs> uh, I think I only got one question wrong in like the 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 N calculus classes that I took so I ended up with like 110% in like three other classes but anyway uh, Diffie's was awesome for me professor was a huge pothead gave me a better mark than my best friend nice Nice. Preston says, do you remember learning about distributed systems slash message bus event systems in college, university slash college? Not at all. I did not do, I did not learn anything about distributed systems in college. All of my distributed systems knowledge is from 
personal projects or work or just me doing research and learning shit. Uh, did not did not do any distributed system stuff in college. I did a bunch of like database systems. That was technically my technically my degree was a computer science LSNA computer science with a specialization in database systems. I don't. The specialization was like very arbitrary and based on like whatever class I had taken of the highest quantity. Um, so it was more like an accident than anything else. Five thousand undergrads. Wow, very small. Nice, nice. Uh, college is very useful for networking. <laughs> People networking, not not uh, not computer networking. Uh, Mr. Elfman says calc one is usually considered diff, like differentiation. Yeah. Yeah, but not like um, you know, uh, linear algebra. But. Uh, college got me my first job, but I could have done the job without getting my degree. Yeah, I I had a I had a software internship out of high school. Well, it was originally supposed to be QA, but aha, I decided to automate my fourteen week internship during my first week, and then they were like, hmm, okay, maybe you can do software dev instead. Um, like I don't think I learned much programming stuff at school. Uh. Maybe like a little bit in algorithms, but I already knew like ON and you know, what a linked list was and all that fucking garbage. So I didn't really learn any of that. But I guess I I learned and then promptly forgot how to make a red black tree. <laughs> I kind of understand the idea. But webs. Fizzbuzz, hello, hello. Good to see you again. So I says, it was just thinking, it once was a challenge to write a game that could fully fit in cache. But I've got 192 megs, so that should easily be really easy. Yeah. That's a lot of cash. That's a shit ton of cash. Uh, US college is like adult daycare. Hmm. Not really. I mean, some, some degrees, sure, fine. Some are, are practical and useful or necessary. Like, I think any of the medical field degrees, like, absolutely are not daycare. But... Yeah. Fixed Jake says, funny to hear, because I had a total of like four big lecture hall classes. All my other classes for all four and a half years were less than 20 people. Nice. It says, my smart friends love grade curving, being labeled not smart. I thought the same teachers were garbage. Oh. I just like, you know, it was nice anyway, but I it never really affected me. So. Uh, Fizzbuzz says ODEs, PDEs, SPDEs, nonlinear PDEs, DEIs, just DEs out the water. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't, what is the O? DEs, differential equation. I know partial differential equations. This SPDEs. And I don't know. <laughs> Our DBA guru is here asking Anthony, what is your favorite database? SQLite. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, people networking, that's what I use it for. It certainly wasn't the handful of class that I managed. Yeah. Those red black trees are so important. Yeah. You forgot Dijkstra's algorithm too, apparently. I don't think we learned it in school. Or if, if, um, it would have been in 280. And I had the most fucking garbage professor in 280 who was like fresh out of grad school. I guess he wasn't even a professor, but he was an instructor. Dantics. Uh, but his, his lectures were open up Wikipedia, scroll through it and be like, Ooh, pretty gifts. Here's your homework. Bye. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think I probably would have remembered it if I would have used it in school, but, uh, honestly, Dijkstra's has just been advent of code for me <laughs> and oops, uh, independently derived Dijkstra's and then just dealt after that. So. I don't know. My proofs class had a first time professor. He realized he had to curve that class like crazy when the highest grade on the first exam was a 65. Holy shit. Tatra, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I remember my friend took normal calculus and there was one exam where the average was an 18%. <laughs> and it was a class of like, it was a class of like 500 people. <laughs> so it wasn't even like small sample size. It was just, the exam was really fucking hard. I don't know what you even do with, with something like that. Like, 
if if you're averaging such a like a fifth of the questions right, like surely that reflects on the on the professors more than the students. Like how can you I don't know. That 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 class that class made me mad, and I didn't even take it. <laughs> but uh, red black trees are taught so you can appreciate how the Linux kernel schedules things. <laughs> yeah, what did we even? I don't even remember what we used them. What, what our example use of them was? Because like, you can mostly get away with just simple binary trees for, for a lot of stuff. I guess red black is a little bit more complicated than that, but um, yeah. Anyway. I had a midterm like that. Everyone didn't get the answer right, so his scaling is outrageous. I think he got less than 10% because I couldn't do it simply and didn't write anything. Oh, couldn't do it, so simply didn't write anything. Uh, drawing a diagram is worth 20%. That's crazy. Okay, anyway. So the first thing that I want to do today is... Should be real simple. Uh, famous, famous last words. Um, this was reported by none other than... Uh, Good friend of mine that I went drinking with on on Friday, Lugish, uh, because 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 uh, results install GitHub Python because Python the Python added two more things to Pregma CI. Wow, my Pi is on Pregma CI. Wow, my Pi is on Pregma CI and pretty quick actually. Oh, because they're not using very much. Um, that's pretty dope, though. My, my Pi using Pregma CI. Pretty cool. Very cool. Uh, is it auto-fixing PRs for people? Oh my god, it is! Yo, let's fucking go! Let's go, baby! I also met Juka previously. Pre uh, pre pre previously, yes. That's the word brief and previously slammed together. Briefly at PyCon. Uh, so that was cool. But look at this! Right, Ethan? It's using Pregnum and CI. Wow! So cool! Uh, I can still make this faster. And this. These two I can probably make faster. Uh, anything special? Oh, a few plugins. Cool. Very cool. Old version of Flake 8, though. Hmm. But, but why? Oh, well, they'll get an auto-update PR, and then it'll be newer. <laughs> oh, you've been watching the PR. Nice. Nice, nice. Well, it looks like it's in, because uh, it says it says this this word. Um, but yeah, also MyPy extensions. Oh, it hasn't been enabled. It hasn't run yet, but it's been enabled. Um, but yeah, apparently... Um, the auth callback can sometimes redirect without an auth code, which I thought was impossible. I think GitHub told me it was impossible. So we have to handle this case. Because this right now, and there's nothing special about this, I can just do this, uh, gives bad requests, which is not great. 30 millisec 34 milliseconds, Anthony, I can make that faster. Yeah, well, it's almost half a second with the other stuff, but... um. Yeah. It says all my tests had write code on paper on them or a large percentage. Hmm. I, those sucked. Not fun. Absolutely, absolutely famous last words. This will be easy. Yeah. Well, we can solve it the right way or we can figure out why it's happening. I, I don't know that I've ever been able to reproduce this. So that part's going to be tricky, but we can just trust, trust Lukash and have this just redirect. Um. Redirect to login if the code is missing. I don't really want an infinite redirect though. How does redirect to the home page? I thought it already did that. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, throw back to me in my C++ final had a section where we had to write code down on paper. Oh yeah, almost all of mine did that. They're using accounts formatter linter. Yeah. 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 Uh, we probably won't do self-check, but other things we will. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, self-check, I don't know how you would get it to work. Because uh, it doesn't really let you install. Pregment isn't intended to install the repository under test, but... Uh... Yeah. Anyway. Uh... 
Let me log into my second account so I can look at what the what the app setup looks like and see if there's anything obvious in there. Cause it's it's not supposed to. Mm. I feel like I had this problem before, and I messaged GitHub and was like, "Hey, you know this thing that your thing says shouldn't happen? Yeah, it's happening." I don't even know how to get to the right thing. Recursed. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. This is not what I wanted. Uh, settings. Then developer settings. Then dev. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Redirect on update. Redirect users to the user authentication callback URL after installations are updated. Yeah. That's what this is supposed to be. But... The weird thing is... Uh... I understand. I understand. So, what can I read? So, I think what happens is if you're logged out, so if you've never authed the app before, and you are an admin on an org, and someone else requests the app install, and then the admin accepts it, but has never logged into the app, then they'll get redirected without an OAuth code. Yeah. I think that's the case where this happens, but I, such a pain he has to reproduce. I can revoke, I can revoke the OAuth. Yeah, let's try that. Um, locations. Uh, I think I can click this. Let me access the API. Yeah. That's what I want. They should still be installed here. Let me make sure I didn't break this. Yeah, so I should be able to invite... Oh, I should be able to invite one of my other accounts to my org that this account maintains and then request a repo be added. Yeah, I think that'll work. Let's make sure that Premium CI still works even without that auth. Should work though. Now I gotta figure out what other account I'm gonna use. Let's see, what other GitHub account do I have? Uh, we'll use this one. Okay, this is still working though. So that's good. Very good. Well, actually, one thing that I wanted to check. Okay, <laughs> I was I was gonna I was gonna be a little sad if somebody had installed the dev app <laughs> somehow, which is possible. Wait, why hasn't this turned green? Oh, because GitHub GitHub derp. Okay, cool. All right, so that still works. Great. So I'm gonna go to, I have an org, I think. How does this work? Org, yeah. And then, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I wanna make it not look like spam. <laughs> okay. Public, create. And then I need to invite a user. Walker Codes, hello, hello, how you doing? Good to see you again. Uh, my SCD wanted to report that two browser winners are not aligned perfectly on the vertical axis. I think they are. 
Oh no, they're one pixel off. Oh well, deal. <laughs> How you doing, Walker Coats? Good to see you again. Invite member. This GitHub account called. I think it's called Throw Away GHA. Throw away GHA. Throw away GHA. Uh, invite member. And we'll open private window here. We'll log in. With this account, GitHub, copy password, paste, log in. Uh, uh, why didn't I get an invite code? No, what, e what email did I use for this? They'll be receiving, they can also visit this URL. Okay, let's try that. Oh. Ta-da! Yes. Now I should be able to go to Jean's Dev Frequent CI. Log into Dev. Yes. Uh, wasn't paying too much attention. I can't stop noticing it be one pixel off. Yeah. Okay, so. I can request, good. So I request this. And then, I should get an email. Yeah, I got this email. Requests you to install dev for acedilly 2 org Then I copy this link to this private browser. And then, I will approve and install, and this should redirect me to the broken page. What the fuck? But, but for why? Why? Why didn't you redirect me? What if I do this? Oh, okay. That also does it. Very strange. Haplo Eco, thank you for the resub at 12 months, which gets you a fancy new badge. I like how the TTS just said, oh. <laughs> Good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. Okay, well, anyway, we reproduced the problem, but in a much less complicated way than I thought I needed to. Uh, so I can go back and delete people's. Uh, move. Goodbye. I can close you. Oh, that was not what I wanted. I clicked the wrong X. <laughs> Good thing it doesn't matter. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the SAML auth, which is a paid feature. Yeah, it, I mean, that makes sense. SAML is a fucking pain in the ass, so I would charge for paid too. Walker Code says, did you know that ISO 639-1, 639-2-B 639-2-T and 639-3 are all different. Fuck. I don't know what any of those are. <laughs> Maybe it's better that way. Uh, okay. Anyway, we know what the URL is, so we can just make it redirect, I guess. Ugh. Yeah, it should be too hard. Sorry, I'm yawny chat. Uh, it's been... It's been one week. <laughs> Stop it, brain. Uh, auth after update, no code. Uh, blueprints. Get on. Yeah. So this is where it's triggering the 400. Um, so we can say if error is not, or if, if code is not in 
Last request args. Live code, not in flask.request.args. We'll just do this. Uh, that seems. Hmm. That seems the best I can do. It's not a great user experience. Ideally, I would uh, redirect them to Ideally, I would redirect them to login. But if login is broken in some way, I don't want to redirect in a loop. Okay, let me double check. Let me make sure that logging in actually fixes stuff here. Like if I can actually log in. Okay, so I can modify the installation without being logged in. Uh, let's go and revoke that. Apps, this, revoke, yes, okay. Uh, what? This is not what I expected. Okay, that's fine though. All right, so. Let's continue fixing the code. Is there a test for this? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. They're all language code specs? Oh. Jalmega says, our AC is off at work as they're working on it. It was 30C plus. Fuck. That's miserable. I would just not go to work. Dan Robot, hello, hello. How you doing? Good to see you again. Pyrox says, every time. Yeah. It's been somebody, it's getting phrases that auto-complete in my head, yeah. Or, um, fuck, what did the, U what did the New York subway say every time as it stopped and Brain was just like, ah, time to sing a song. Wee oh, yeah. Tommy! Thank you for the resub in four months. Good to see you again. Yeah, it was good to see you at PyCon. Uh, it was good to see, it was good to see a bunch of people at PyCon. But how you doing? Hello, hello. You made that up I wasn't there? Haha. <laughs> I mean, I saw so many people at PyCon. Why 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 would you bamboozle me like this? Hope you enjoyed the beer. I I didn't drink any beer at PyCon. Haha, joke's on you. I didn't drink any beer. Wait, I should have just fucking read the message. This is embarrassing. I'm embarrassed now. Uh, please stand clear of the closing doors. No, it's not that one. It's when it arrives. When it arrives somewhere. But yes, I, I, I did hear that a whole bunch of times. Please stand clear of the closing doors. Uh, <laughs> I need to pull up a bottle of beer on stream. I could grab a beer. I could grab a beer. Um, let's see. Blueprints, GitHub tests. Do we have auth? I don't think we have any tests for auth. Nope, we don't. Okay. Uh, Gustron says, I'm sorry about that. What is this decorator GitHub blueprint? Uh, this is Flask blueprints, uh, which is a way to modularize endpoints. Yeah. So this is, this is a way for me to chunk up the code in a way that's less terrible. Uh, is it in here where I register all the blueprints? Yeah. So here's 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 blueprints. Davey Music, hello, hello. I think I already said hi to you, but hello again. Jumping says, also got a third monitor that's horizontal, so it's nice to look at multiple docs on it. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I have two horizontal and one vertical right now. And I waste a hilarious amount of space in all of them. Um, but yeah, it seems that I do not have tests for this. Uh, which I believe I could test these pretty easily. 
Do I have tests for other blueprints? Yeah, okay. Test blueprints, GitHub test. We can test this. Test auth, callback, error, app client. Slash GitHub auth callback. We'll do this and see what it does. Rio two found resp dot headers. Oh boy. Yeah, so this should be this should be the session cookie. Um that work. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh. Oh, these are annoying. These are not the flask. These are not the Verkzeug objects. Oh, they are. So why do they not have... Oh, they're the Verkstoic ones, they're not the Flask ones. Yeah. Um, hmm. How do I get a Flask request from a Verkstoic request? I don't, apparently. Hmm. Uh, do, 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 um, hmm. I guess it should set a session cookie in that case, so we can just look at. Uh, we can just do. We can just assert that we've got a set cookie with session. Uh, resp resp dot headers set cookie that starts with session equals. So it should set a session header. And it should redirect. It's probably a good enough crappy test. And then I should have grabbed the URL, resp dot location. Yeah. So it's resp dot status equals 302. So resp dot location equals slash. Uh, test auth callback. Missing code. Uh, do, 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 what is the issue number? 180. We'll just say it doesn't have a cookie. Do 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 do. Uh, this will do. Oh, that is not. I did Control Shift C like a dummy. Here we go. The Flask import request. It's not quite like that. Because it's in Flask G, and Flask G is in a module. Feed the bid. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully, you're doing well. Uh, this is my new setup now. Ooh, do you have a picture? Ooh, looking pretty nice. Looking pretty nice. I see I see that Windows 11 there. <laughs> pretty background, though. I think this is the default one, though. That's pretty nice. Uh, command line of GitHub checks. No, this is a web app for GitHub stuff. Yeah, sort of. Kind of. Yeah. Uh, we have a session, boys. Yeah. Ilzer says, I created a funny bug once, generating a random secret key if the MVAR was not set. Worked fine locally in NCI and prod, however, random, randomly CSRF tokens would be invalid. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, that's, uh, 
you, you probably shouldn't be generating random ones in prod. Uh, still default background. Uh, need to figure something out. Yes. Oh, you moon. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, moon. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. All right, so this should pass right now, and then I'm going to come out the phone. Maybe I didn't press save. Oh. Oh, I did dot status. I should have done dot code. Code? Is that the... I don't want the string. I don't care about the string. Who cares about the string? No one needs the string. Oh, it's fucking status code. Okay, so it passes now, and if we comment this out and not have a little squiggly on the end, it should fail. Sweet. Okay. Seems good enough. Um, this is possible if updating and install while never authorizing auth. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Moon, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, not a fan of Windows 11 thus far. Feeling sluggish. Not sure if that's corporate setup. Need to double click the taskbar to change focus. Oh, seems not bad. Or not not good. Uh, I'm still on Windows 10 because I I like uh, taskbar grouping, which um, oh, shit, I'm pain in the ass now. Oh, I've gone too far. There we go. Uh, yeah, that'll have to do. That'll do. What was environment.get or generate randoms? The mvir was not set in prod. Each worker got a different secret key. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to test this on dev now? Yeah. Well, I'm just going to assume it's correct. And deploy it to dev. I guess we can, we can gamble a little bit. I'm going to gamble a little bit. Uh, will this fix work? Re redirect to slash. Yeah, yes, no. We'll give you a minute to bet while CI runs. Uh, there's no way CI takes that long, but oh, well, maybe it will take that long because GitHub is being shitty today. Uh, fix install modify callback without OAuth. Oh, we got a tiny bit on no. Praxis put a bunch more on no. Parsons got a bunch on yes. We've got another, we got another doubter. Prex, you're all in? That's all you have is 1K? Oh, you can't bet points, I see. You are in an environment where points is not allowed. Understand? I've literally taken them all. Oh, you're all in because you're poor. I get it now. <laughs> poor, poor on imaginary internet points. Um, yeah. Hmm. <sighs> yeah. Will M says hello, hello. How was PyCon? It was good. It was good. Well, it could have been better. It was uh, it was tiring. It was exhausting because uh, I spent almost the entire time doing Sentry's sponsor booth. Uh, but I saw a bunch of viewers and caught up with a bunch of open source people. So that was pretty cool. I met uh, Seth from Eurolib3. I had never met Seth in person. That was cool. Seth, Seth's awesome. Uh, also hung out with Flask Lord. David David Lord from Palettes Palettes Project. Uh, who else did I hang with? I'm probably gonna forget a whole bunch of people. Oh, Gabrinat from Talks and Virtual Env. 
which I owe him a patch and a, and a half. Um, who else did I meet? Oh, um, I'm terrible at pronouncing their name. <laughs> Hold on, let me, uh, uh, Um, what is, what is their, what is, what is their, yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm terrible at pronouncing their name, so I'm not even going to try, but. I, I met, I met them at Pygon as well. Who else did I talk to? I guess I'm really counting people that I spent a bunch of time talking to, but yeah, it was, it was nice. Um, all right, so. We'll merge this. It should auto deploy to dev, and then we should be able to. Uh, we should be able to add a repo here and click button, and it should uh, redirect to the logged out view, which will look kind of bad, but it's better than crashing. Will M says, uh, Will M says, nice, glad to hear. Uh, I want to go to PyCon at some point. I think timing just wasn't great for me this year. Yeah. Next year is supposed to be in Pittsburgh, I believe. Uh, which will be a little bit closer for me. I guess, is it that much closer? I don't really have a good concept of how close Pittsburgh is. Oh, it's way closer. <laughs> Fuck. I may even drive there. Yeah, Pittsburgh is a little bit closer to Ann Arbor than fucking Salt Lake City. Way, way over here. Oh, I didn't realize how far north Salt Lake City is. Yeah. Way, way north of that, I expect. Anyway. Um, what's <laughs> to me this year? You're in Northern California. Ah, nice, nice. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people from NorCal were there. It's a you know quick, quick one hour flight. Oh fucking a! Run failed to blowing to dev. Ah, great. Why? I didn't even touch this code. Could not find artifact. Oh, did GitHub change how their artifacts work? That would suck. Steve Bendito, thank you for the resub, but 33 months. It's good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. 33 is so many months, yeah. <laughs> Could not find artifact Lambda deploy. Hmm. Well then. It's right fucking there. Why not? This might also be why... Let me click retry and see what happens. Oh yeah, GitHub's having a shitty day, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not a big problem that's happening. <laughs> Stupid ass thing. Let me just give it the old retry. See what happens. Let's not do this change. Correct. Correct. This is not influenced by the points. Rex says, how do you tell if it's having a shitty day or not? Well, you just check if the day ends in the letter Y. That's how you know. In English. Uh, El Shawadfi. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. GitHub's just having a day ending in Y. Because apparently, it just worked. Cool. Hey, oh, got him. Get wrecked. Get up. Yeah. Get wrecked, nerds. But, yeah. What are you? <laughs> I 
Okay, play the dev, cool. So I should be able to add this and it should Ta -da! redirect back to the homepage instead of crashing. Woo. At least you can say you're the 1%. <laughs> yeah, I am, I am the 1% suffering from GitHub's fuckiness. Okay, cool. And then we can do our deploy prod. Please. Uh, but I prefer the crashing behavior. Yeah. Yeah. Hope they don't follow the GitLab destiny. What, of banning people for pointing out that run train is not a word that should be on a button in a GitHub, in a, in a pull request, in a merge request? Sorry, merge request because it's GitLab. <sighs> In German, it's funny. Uh, every day ends in Tag, except for one, which ends in Walk, which is basically week. Hmm. Interesting. The announced says I ran a train last night. <laughs> yeah. 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 Pro probably shouldn't have a button that says Run Train, but they finally fixed it. I believe it no longer says Run Train. Uh. Or mysterious commits appearing from seemingly nowhere? Yeah. Yeah. I think I still have that mysterious commit that came from nowhere. Yeah, this one. Um, I guess there's two commits. Update Enterprise Bitcoin Browser. Enterprise Bitcoin Browser. And maybe their password. Do you think this is their password? Locky lock. I'm not gonna try and open. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that on, on browser. Um, but here, let's see if I can find. I'm currently Google searching "run train Acetilly. This is probably not something I would recommend. Uh. Oh, I don't find it. Maybe if I say run train GitLab. <laughs> okay, yeah, I found it. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> I I want to inform you here at GitHub. We strive for a safe and inclusive environment. Well, then fucking change your... <laughs> then change your damn... Yeah. This this is such a, like, a... a stupid fucking response to this. But... Anyway. Pretty good, huh? <clears throat> it says choo-choo, motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, run, tra run train. What is this? Fetlang? Is that a... In terrible programming language, probably. Oh, is there a HIBP public API that I can just paste a password in? Uh, can I just put a password in here instead of email? What happens if I just paste this in there? Hmm. Is there one to check passwords rather than just... uh? Emails? There's a passwords button? Passwords. Oh, there we go. Huh? Hasn't been leaked yet. <laughs> Except all of you on Twitch, lol. Uh, Deep Breath Street. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? <clears throat> oh, is the second item on Google? Okay, well, I'm just dumb then. Mobby. Uh, and Enterprise, the, the funny thing is they're not banned on GitHub yet. Oh wait, that's not how you get to their profile. You have to click on the face, not on the name. Of course. Browser coin is company wonderful that create a platform of business and great opportunity of minoring for all the world. <laughs> wait, they have a Twitter account? No, they don't. <laughs> of minoring for all the world. 
<laughs> Browser coin. <sighs> Fucking A. <laughs> New coin with the genesis of Bitcoin. <sighs> oh, God. Absolute wild shit. Feed the bit, hello, hello, how you doing? Of course, living in the USA. I mean, so am I, but doesn't mean that we're all fucking idiots. Uh, so there's a, so I HIBP'd my Gmail account. Apparently my Spanish class from 2017 was breached. Oh my God. Is he a bot? I don't know. Uh, I'm MB says they're yelling. So you must know they mean business. Oh yeah, speaking of that. Uh, Will this fix work? Redirect a slash. Choose, out choose outcome, yes. Congratulations, believers. <laughs> Walker Code says I minored in English. They minored in all the world. Yeah. <laughs> Larry, hello, hello. How you doing? How was your stream? What were you working on? Usually, usually I only see you in, in one month of the year. This is unusual. It's Chris. It's Christmas in in April. Chris, Christmas in April. Larry's here. I was doing some random code forces problems. Nice, nice. Sounds good. How you doing? Uh, for those of you joining, my name is Anthony. Uh, I normally work on open source Python stuff. Today we're trying to catch up on a little bit of bug fix ruse. Uh, the first is we fixed a four hundred by. <laughs> By just ignoring it, making making the crash not crash. If crash, no. <laughs> um, but we're going to be working on some other open source Python stuff. I maintain a bunch of stuff in the Python community that you might have heard of, such as pre-commit, PyTest, Talks, Flake 8, Dead Snakes, PyFlakes, PyUpgrade, and about 50 other things. 60 or too many. I should just, I should just delete them all. Ah, no, that would be a bad idea. People would be more mad at me than they already are. Ah, but how was your stream? How was it going? Uh, no condom, Chris. It's been a bit. Welcome back. How you doing? Uh, Walker Code says, I'm still treating burns from Larry's AOC solutions. <laughs> so fast, my computer melted. Yeah. Zithria says, rough win. I don't think I will maintain rough. I think I would rather... I'd rather rough add plugin support and then I can just stop maintaining linters. Because what's the point? Larry says it was fun. Need to get back into learning how to do streams. <laughs> yeah, I clicked to uh, start stream today and I was like, how do I do this again? Because I've, I've streamed twice. I think, I think I've streamed three times this entire month uh, through vacations and PyCon. Um, which yes, I guess I'm excluding PyCon from vacations because it it didn't quite feel it didn't feel like time off. It, in fact, it, I think PyCon was more work than my day job. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, deploy prod please has been deployed abroad. Cool, done, perfect, great. It all works. Uh, it should be fixed now. Oh, I didn't link the right thing. Uh, I will link it from here. That way. Why are there two branches? Oh, right. I think that I may finish at some point if I ever get slightly more free time. Haha. <laughs> like, that'll happen. Why is there a tab here? Oh, because CSS is my passion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did it... Close it after the. No, it uh, didn't. This are they AMBV? No, they're AMBV on on GitHub. Yeah. Um. Had had drinks with with Lukash at uh. At PyCon. Um. Yeah, that was that that was that was fun. Uh, they gave me a bunch of ideas for, for snarky t-shirts <laughs> that would totally not piss off anyone at next year's PyCon. 
Uh, but <laughs> probably, probably, probably not the best idea. But Larry says we'd love to do PyCon one year and get a company to pay for it. Yeah, that's that's the real trick. Let's get someone else to pay for it. William says you can't just say that and not say what the T-shirts are. Um. Hmm. Um. Well. Hmm. I don't. <laughs> right, okay. Well, we'll we'll say we'll say one of the more tame ones because the other ones could probably actually get one or one or two as in trouble. Um. I I used to do this thing on Twitter a lot where people would put in zero effort in open source or negative effort in open source or be generally shitty people in open source. And I would uh I would utilize this hashtag. Um uh, today in oh what was that suggested search? What the fuck is this? I hope that's not a password. It's not my password, because otherwise it'd have uh otherwise it'd have symbols in it. Um Yeah. <laughs> Lucas has done this too. <laughs> Love when people join GitHub just to write an essay telling you to delete your repo. All right, it's October. <laughs> Always remember, kids, if you ever start an open source project, the moral duty to support CPUs that were put into the home computers or mainframes in the 80s and 90s trumps any dreams, desires, or priorities you may have. Yeah. What did you try? N slash A. <laughs> yeah. The class name starts with Ruby, so of course I can remove it in a minor version with no notice. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. I used to snark about this a lot more, but I've 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 pissed off enough people that I've I've kind of stopped doing this. Um, but uh, <laughs> Lucas's idea was to make a T-shirt that says "This Year in Open Source" with with an octothorpe at the beginning. Pretty funny, or even just "Today in Open Source." But I think "Today in Open Source" would get I, I'd get reported to the code of conduct more so than. Uh, more more than I need to be, which is which is not at all. Okay, also wanted to look at this, which um, yeah, did they ever finish setting this up, or not? They got a pending. Very weird that this didn't. Like, they claim it's just because it's an org, but I don't think that's what it is. RM cannot remove. No such file or directory. What the fuck? What is going on here? What is all of this? Oh, God. Oh, God. Get me out of here. <sighs> Very strange. Very strange. CWM Emeritus. Hello, hello. How you doing? CMBTO says, you're going to change my code because of your disgusting coding habits. Add spaces, commas, semicolons, and new lines in other people's code. Good code changed like a ghost. Garbage. Why don't you just say you have the time to do something else? Doing this boring, pointless thing. Just like some stupid writer who doesn't change Shakespeare and thinks he's doing a good job. Yeah. Yeah. Good code changed like a ghost. Yep. The other server says, but don't mangle the Python logo again. I hope Brian's Python wand was confiscated. Wasn't confiscated since the color is not the exact hex code. Yeah. I saw a lot of official stickers that also violated the Python trademark bullshit shenanigans. The ones handed out by the PSF violated the uh, stupid trademark bullshit. Armchair lawyers. Oh, I once took, a, I once took an online course about t trademark law. Strangle him. Anyway. Uh, Feedbit says, could you talk a little bit about Tox? I haven't used it yet, but I'm interested because I've seen it almost everywhere. Tox is basically make files that knows a little bit more about Python. Except not make files because make files should really be build scripts and not little commandlets. It's like an automation tool. It's so that your users all run the same set of tests. And it makes dealing with a bunch of different Python versions really easy. Allie, hello, hello. Hi, 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 hi. How are you doing? 
I tried to film a YouTube video and I got annoyed, so I'm back to editing. I hate editing. That's why I don't do it. <laughs> if I need to edit a video, I'm just gonna re-record it. But then again, I don't like, I don't make stylized content. I just try and click record, do a live demo, explain what the fuck's going on, and then click stop record. That's the type of content I like making because, um, yeah. Uh, John Wick says, now I remind of the awful new Rust trademark draft that just got backlash. Yeah. 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 Mr. Monday is grind day. Mm. My grind day is Sunday, but... I did not grind yesterday, so no videos this week. Cry party. Uh, I do think this will be my best one yet. I showed it to two people and they were both laughing at the end. Nice, nice, nice. Always good. <sighs> I'm not gonna figure out why this is broken. Uh, let me just try the normal validation. This is definitely the error that I'm getting. The right repo, right? I think the artifact has a probably already got garbage collected. Expired, yeah. But very weird. Is this on the right repo? Yeah. Very strange. Very, very strange. Mm. Zithri says Christ rest. Okay, off to grind. Sounds good. Thank you for stopping by. Good to see you. Okay. I'm going to try just the validation script. See if it's a general problem. And then... Oh, that is not what I wanted. And then if it's not that. Wait, what was this failure? Oh, this is when we broke pre CI. I think we broke it intentionally. Wait, look at all the warnings. Mm -hmm. Oh, they do have the, oh, but, no, because it definitely made it through. Oh, I was going to go back and delete this extra repo. On one failed status. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> Time out. <laughs> All right. I forgot that today is a day ending in Y, and we have this sadness. The <laughs> co-pilot is operating normally. Who gives a fuck? Damn, they've been down for three hours. Crazy. Uh, okay, but it, it worked, so that's all that matters, even though this failed. Okay, so it seems to be working. Let's try it in an org. I don't think it will matter, though. Uh, I don't know how to set it up though. Mm. How is it? We command CI light? No. Apparently copilot is very important, yeah. Siobhan says, how was PyCon? Any interesting conversations at the Sentry booth? Uh, it was fine. It was exhausting. 
I think my favorite part was meeting viewers because uh, a bunch of this is actually the first time I've ever met viewers in real life. Uh, and so it was very cool. It's very cool to see people and to hear people be excited about the content that I make. Um, and I get to see that firsthand. Um, took a bunch of photos with people, which was which was fun. Gave out stickers. Um, I also met a bunch of open source people. The booth was exhausting. It was so tiring. It was, it was, yeah. Here's an account. Why can I not install it on others? Oh, because it's probably set as, probably set as, where's the thing? Where's the, is it in here? Yeah. Oh, I gotta make a new repo. What? Why does this have the ghost icon? Did I get banned? Am I shadow banned? Can I see this elsewhere? Yeah? What? <laughs> but, but why? But why get a buy ghost icon? Uh, what copilot is so important? How else am I going to split out useless doc strings no one will read? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Larry says, I remember the first time somebody recognized me in real life. I don't have stickers, though. Ah. Yeah, I've been recognized in real life, I guess. Uh, the first time was extremely weird for me. Uh, this was, like, when I was kind of a new streamer. It hadn't been very long that I had streamed for. And, because it must have been in 2019. Is it for 2020? Um, I was at a party in San Francisco and actually it was two different people that night that, that, that knew, knew me from stream, but not at the party. Um, I walked into the party and a replay of one of my VODs was up on their TV playing, <laughs> which was very weird. I was, I was not ready to try and understand what was going on there. Um, and then someone else at the same party uh, was talking about how weird it was that people live stream program. And I was like, oh, yeah, I, I, I do that. And then they like squinted at me and were like, oh, I watch your streams, <laughs> which was which was which was also very weird. And, uh, Clue, hello, hello. How you doing? Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, you're a ghost because of your good code. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, Zithia says, says, I got bonged for talking about AI. Yeah, uh, well, it doesn't actually bong you. It just doesn't let you send the message. Time enjoyed. Hello, hello. How you doing? Time enjoyed also streams. You can check out their content. Um, What was the highlight of PyCon? <laughs> Going home? <laughs> um, no, it was, uh, it was fine. Uh, probably the high highlight was, was seeing viewers. Yeah. I didn't actually go to any of the talks. <laughs> I spent the entire time at the Sentry booth, which is fine. Only in SF, yeah, only in SF, hundred percent. Iro J says, "Sheesh, that's awkward." I mean, it was it was more flattering than awkward. It was it was kind of cool, but definitely like one of those only in SF things. So critical. <laughs> yeah. So Dominica says it's weird that people stream programming continues to watch programming streams. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, it was more that like they were they were trying to explain like how excited that like they thought they, they were like it's such a novel thing. I didn't think people would do this, but I watched them and then it was like oh yeah, it it me. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, let us. I don't remember how this works. Oh, we're gonna find. We're gonna read the docs. Yeah, we're gonna read the docs. And copy paste this. Yes. New repo. Oh, I'm not logged in in the right place. New repo. Yes. Right. Hello there. Um. 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 Uh. Why can why do they keep moving this button? No, this button. Get the workflows. 
Um, precommit.yml. Is it yml or yaml? I think both work. Okay, so now we refresh you and add it to test light install. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, I need to make file, readmd. Hello there, hi. We make pull request. Let's see what happens here. Uh, Dino says, want to trade live for the next 48 hours? I'm really bad at doing eye trust. Oh, that's an oddly specific thing. Uh, Radhika Shem? Red yeah. Welcome, welcome to the stream. And Makaso, hello, hello. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Ho hopefully both of your days are going well. Uh, that is nicer because a lot of weird things get streams. Yes. Yes, a lot of weird things do get streams. Uh... Tommy says, public perception of streaming can be a bit jaded depending on who you talk to. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Very, very, very much so. Oh, I forgot to add the pregmate config. Duh. What am I doing? How do, how do I programming? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, add file. Keep moving it around. Pre pre commit config dot yaml dot yaml right we're not we're not yaml yaml people. Uh, do, 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 do. Where sample config? Yeah, this will work. It's kind of out of date. Use four point one, and we'll do just trailing white space, and maybe end the file fixer too. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Add Reemd. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Steve Medici says, General Kenobi. Ending with ASMR. Well, I mean, there's only so much ear licking before you can be like, yeah, that's normal. That's not weird. Uh, Walker Code says, I used to get, why would you want to watch people playing video games when you can play them yourselves? Yeah, yeah, that's true. I think programming, programming streams is not that far off from that. Usually followed by, why do you want NASCAR Uncle Billy? Just go turn left a bunch in the driveway. <laughs> okay, I feel like NASCAR is a little bit different. I feel like NASCAR is some of the most boring content. You are literally just watching people drive around in a circle. Um, we've got Gorafal says, what do you think about Kotlin as a Java replacement in a backend web application? Uh, I am a big fan of Kotlin, just in general. I think it's a decent programming language. I think if you're looking for null safety, Kotlin can help you with that. Um, Zithir says, I just really like how they turn left. Okay, this seemed to work fine. So let's see if there's something specific about this person's setup. Uh, we'll also try it from a fork because I don't, I, that might be the issue, but I, try, I tried that when I created this. So I really doubt it. Uh, issues, this one. Let's see what the code looks like. Yeah, they, for some reason they used a different little thingy thing here. I hope that's not their problem, but we will find out. Uh, indent for some reason. Oh. Weird. I, why did they do this? I don't know. Uh, nowadays I can focus on someone else playing video games longer than I can focus on playing a game. Yeah. Wee Tommy says, see, Anthony has the weird ASMR perception. 99% of the content on YouTube is normal ASMR stuff, but Twitch is different because uh Twitch. 
Well, is it really? Like, like if I just sat here and went, Octothor, bang. User bin env python3. From future. From future import annotations. Import dog bars. Yeah, I, how, like, right? <laughs> This smells microphone, yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, that's um That's the good shit right there. Alright, let's let's add a reMD for the third time. Hi you. Hello. Um Sorry to be a cynic, but I think people watch NASCAR for the crashes. Yeah, probably, but you don't need to watch that live. I used to agree with you on NASCAR until I learned about the physics of drafting and bumping. Yeah, but we don't need to burn fossil fuels in a circle for hours. Just just do like five laps and call it good. Right? Even that's still a little uh, excessive. Um, bum, 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 bum. Larry NY says, time to catch up on su succession. I have have a good rest of the stream. Well, thank you for stopping by. Uh, and thank you for the raid. I'll see you around. Have a good one. They watch the drink and yell like every other support. <laughs> you gotta know my intrusive thought chat. I, I, I see this phrase all the time in quick succession. Um, my, my brain is broken, so I hear this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, um. From this performance, I bet that Anthony watches ASMR regularly. No, I've just been on Twitch long enough that it, you, it, you make the same joke over and over. But, um, yeah. The deep frustrated inhale when your code doesn't compile for the fifth time. <laughs> right? Uh, topography says the internet has ruined your reading comprehension. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I'm just like, brain is just predictive text of what I'm trying to read in chat. Because I uh, gotta go fast. And then... Um... Wait, why do they have formatting check two? Yeah, yeah. Brain, brain has gotta go fast. And then... Problem. Okay, um, yeah, weird. This works fine. Let's try it from Fork now. Um, bum, 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 bum. Oh, I got so many emails. All the way. Okay. Did I have that open from earlier? No. Oh, maybe I'm still logged in because of this. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Um, <laughs> Let's delete to org. Uh, task light. Add file. Reamd. Hello there. Hi. I recently learned there are NASCAR video games. See, I feel like, I feel like racing video games are a completely different concept than actually Burning, burning fossil fuels and driving around in circles. Nacho fries are back on Taco Bell? God, they're so good. They're so good. Carls, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. I've done a late night Taco Bell run for far less. I actually haven't been in Taco Bell in quite a while. Um, There's one very close. Uh, There's one very close, so... Of course, that's not. Let's fucking talk about everywhere. Why are you not running? Is this because day is ending in Y? God damn it. Get your shit together. 
Oh, I gotta click the mine Bitcoin button. <sighs> All right, we've clicked the mine the mine Bitcoin button. <laughs> Which uh, I guess my grease monkey scripts don't run in private uh, private windows. So otherwise, I would say mine Bitcoin. Uh, computers also hit the planet pretty well. Yeah, but certainly at a much slower rate than. Then, uh, then NASCAR. Yeah, see, it worked fine here. So there must be something special about how their org is set up. Um, very strange, very strange, very, very strange. Mm. Hmm. Do you think if I do you think if I oh why are they running that through pregament also <laughs> but why <laughs> I am going to try and make a pull request. And see if I can debug it, I guess. Ugh. Why is their repo just called software? I'm gonna do this on my second account. Oh, but I can't push to that. Nope, we're doing it on primary account. We're gonna give it a prefix name. Uh, yeah, sure. Use both pigment and pigment CI light. Yeah, that's that's how it's supposed to be done. So I guess gonna go get some sleep. Sounds good. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, the idea with frequency I light is you do all your shit get up. God, we're doing depth one. This is just... There's too much going on there. They must have checked in some giant thing at some point. Uh -huh. What do they call it? Do they call their fork software? Yeah, yeah, they did. That's funny. Uh, Uze, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully, you're doing well. What is their branch? FSM Diagram CI. Uh, depth equals 100. And Fuze, thank you for the sub with Prime. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Thank you, thank you for your subscription. I appreciate it. Oh, I fucked this up. Set URL. It's a rune. Fetch. Just sub because I hate Python. <laughs> what? I mean, I don't particularly like Python either. It just happens to be the thing that I write a bunch in. But <laughs> I'm I'm confused now. What the fuck is going on here? What is it doing? What are you doing? PS3 help. It is running git upload pack. Uh, 
I feel like S-tracing SSH is not a good idea. Because it probably reads keys. Mm. Oh. Fuck if I know. Fuck if I know. Uh, please ignore debugging, pre-commit, CI light. Uh, let's see what happens. Who likes Python? Says Feed the Bit, yeah. Python, is that some kind of JavaScript framework? Yeah. Walker Code says, I sub to make Golang jokes that Anthony half chuckles to. <laughs> yeah. Use NPM for Python? Yeah, probably. I was looking for a dev to, a dev to support, and Python is always on my way. Sounds good. It was you or some C, Chad. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Okay, this failed. As it should. Wait, am I looking at the wrong PR, the right PR? I am, yeah. Searching PR, saving artifact, artifact published. That looks fine. This occurred. What the fuck? Wait, what? Oh. Oh. God damn it. Uh... I was like, there's no way it ran that fast. Yeah, they have to click the mine Bitcoin button for me. So we're not going to be able to uh, debug this one, it seems, because the mine Bitcoin button has not been clicked. Why did it clear all the statuses on that commit? That's what's really strange to me. Did it clear the statuses over here, too? It did. What? It seems not good. So if you want to fuck up someone's day, you just make a new GitHub account and you make a pull request with their same branch? <laughs> that cannot be intentional, right? <laughs> yeah, it cleared all the statuses on this commit. Some A, Anthony, please sigh into the microphone. This is what I'm saying. Disappointed developer size are the next ASMR craze. Yeah. I need a binaural, binaural mic. Is that the fucking ear mics? Bin, 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 yeah, it's the ear mics. The it's the spooky ear mics. Uh, it's the it's the it's the ear mics. Uh, I'm probably not gonna do that. Fuse says, "What are we doing today?" Uh, we already finished the first thing, and then I got distracted. 
We're not doing the second thing. Or the third thing. And the bot award babbies for every ASMR site. Unfortunately, I cannot give out babbies. Twitch does not let me do that. Can this sub notification just be an ASMR site? What was it supposed to be? We were going to change it. DDoS, but what were you going to change it to? What was the, um, what was, the, what was, oh, was it, was it, was it the, uh, how am I going to find this? I'm going to find the clip. Yeah, the friend clip. I'm going to click the mute button when it shows up here. Holy fuck, just show me the mute button. No? No mute button? Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, was it in the last 30 days? No, it's probably longer than that, right? Um, I should call her. What? Uh, shit. You can mute the tab. Yeah. Well, is it actually... Are we getting repeat through? I don't think we are. I think Twitch may have finally fixed this page to not actually clip at you. Oh, fuck. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find this. Mm. Uh, Don't lose your emotes. Your prime sub to Mewtwo has expired. All right, cool. I think pretty sure it was a gift sub. What? Twitch. That makes no sense. Um... Yeah. Yeah, it was class friend. It, that's that's what the, the, the clip was about. But it was um it was it was uh uh I don't know how to find it. I just scrolled past it. Wait, really? Was it on the Was it on the all? Or was it on the thirty day? Probably not on the 30 day, right? Control F the title. Okay. Oh, yeah, here it is. Come on. Gotta pause pause the music. Is that really this one? This this looks like I was playing Pokemon. Yeah, that one. Okay, yeah, it's this one. <laughs> this dish widow crashes my friend. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that that could be the sub notification. Um. Uh, get the most expensive one with golden ears, but why? Why? A sub notification being an ASMR sigh. Just uh, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, anyway. Uh, your ASMR intro can be hello in the left ear, pause for a second, then hello in the right ear. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Zach Faded. Oh wait, is this is this your your clipped out edit of me just saying widow fwen? Oh no, stop it, stop it. Do 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 Mm, turns out I can't even run GHA, so drugs. Uh, can someone click the button for me? Uh, CC. What was the other person? Uh, it's a rune. It's a rune. Yeah. Okay. So we can't really figure out that one today. Um, the other thing that I wanted to look at is this but i don't think we're gonna have time to look at it uh which is the processing of import aliases and people doing weird shit admittedly not the weirdest of shit but weird shit nonetheless which is that for some reason it's removing this 
And not the aliasing part. Uh, which kind of makes sense, because I... Well, I don't even think I implemented this. I think someone else did this. But, uh... Yeah, it is lurking back for the comma. And it also needs to look forward for the alias. Which is annoying. But... Probably not that bad to fix. You know what? Fuck it. We'll, we'll try and fix it. We haven't worked on this thing in forever, so it should be fun. It shouldn't take too long, because uh, I have I have stuff to do. All right, test test features import replaces. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pytest param. I'm typing import option. Optional sequence as s ten should become from typing import optional from collections dot abc import sequence as s yeah uh aliasing in multi from imports uh, I forgot a comma Burp. yes it's broken who's any says time to go back to my studies or claps because not enough sleep see you guys next time thank you for stopping by Appreciate your sub, and uh, I'll see you around. Have a good one. Yep, definitely broken. Mm, yeah, now to figure out how to unbreak it. Pi upgrade. Plugins, imports, imports, imports. Oh boy. Uh. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Seems like it's working to me. Yeah, well, it's not supposed to keep this here. <laughs> Telling people to simply not be dumb with their imports? Yeah. Simply do not do the dumb. Okay, how does this work? Replace from... I don't think this is in this module. I don't think. Um, yeah. uh, maybe it is in here. I don't remember which thing handles this. I think it's that. Oh, uh, maybe it's this one. No. Yeah, it's got to be this one. Hmm. This is so much simpler in reorder Python imports because there's a very, very specific. Um. Uh, A very specific, um, <sighs> trying to say a very specific import style. Oh, yeah, but the bug is right here. Bug is right here. Our GitHub or our GitHub is 100% affected by the outage. Oh, <laughs> that sucks. Okay, so if we break point here. Uh, test features import replaces aliasing. 
Uh, yeah. Down, down in an earlier round. Sugar wood going down swinging. Me another one with a bullet. A loaded gun complex got getting bullet. Okay, so. Look forward until the next name and delete. Why did I do it this way? Why did I not do it the other way around? Because really... This should work unless it's the last one. Maybe we just special case the last one, and then we still have this bug? Yeah, let's do that. If IDX, if IDX is equal to len self dot names minus one. MD, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Yeah, uh, I think we can get rid of this case too. So we're supposed to get the last one and then we do this. Yeah, Dell tokens. Oh, we gotta find the last comma. Yeah. So if it is the last one, we set our index. Uh, we don't set end at all. And then we Dell tokens J2 self dot end backward for comma wait does end include and includes the new line huh that's a problem too hmm XXX does not handle explicit relative imports. Oh boy. Hopefully that's not a problem. Did I write this? Hmm. Interesting. This is such an interesting trick. Did someone check the VOD? Yeah. Okay, so it finds all of the name tokens and then it deletes any of them that are as. So. I think we'll just say ends equals names. Like this. And then. Hmm. We're doing this in reverse. We'll just append to each of them.
Oh wait, but we delete there. Mm -hmm. Hmm, that is tricky. Hmm. We can probably do this. Land names. Oh. Oh, it was really annoying. Oh, you know what? We can just do a dictionary. Yeah, we can do this and then. This will work. Okay. Let's just find where the right point is here. Oh. Still haven't implemented that little feature, but someday we will. Yes, we will use Wiktionary to do this. Oh, but they're going to be offset. Mm, we know they're indices though, right? Names I? What is I? Names I minus one, yeah. That's the index. Yeah, we can do that way. And then, oh, I should have put the breakpoint before I deleted it. So I is two. This should be the end token. Couple enumerate tokens. Yes. Okay. So we can do ends names I. Minus one, which would be token this, yep. I minus one is equal to names I plus one. And then, uh, and then we can say uh, ends by offset. And we can say ends is equal to ends by offset dot git. The uh, pause pause or pause in names, and then we can do tuple ends. Uh, we can say ends tuple ends dot. And we can go forward and we can do ends idx plus one. I offset. Yeah, the wrong variable name. Cool. Animes. Spelling is hard. <laughs> did I write this? Yeah, I did. Uh, it's also possible that I could code change like a ghost that, but I don't know. Uh, I want that some teams don't have as good of a process as that's every back. Yeah. Demandito says, man, the freaking Twitch subscriber spam is so annoying. It's trying to get me to subscribe to some random person that someone you know follows. Taking a taking a thing out of Twitter's book there. Okay, that fixes that. Everything else seems to still work. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Seems fine. It just goes back until it sees the comma. Probably. Drugs. 
Rugs, this seems good to me. Okay, let's see if we can make this line a little bit shorter. Uh, well, we can start by doing this. Ta-da! Cool. Mm -hmm. Aliases multi from imports. Fix import re import import rewriting with aliases in multi from. Oh wait, it's auto update day. Maybe I shouldn't release this in the middle of auto update day. Eh, fuck it. What could go wrong? It'll probably downgrade this. I'll just close the PR. Resolves. Eight What are you? Oh. Wait, why did the formatting check succeed? Confusion? Well, we'll let it run. We'll let it do its thing. Uh, I feel like I do with any channel point redemptions what I do with Jira's at work. Just look at the backlog and try to clear them up. Yeah. Origin branch with 4 B. Yep, yep. Okay, well, maybe we'll be able to debug this, perhaps. Um. Ah, damn. Right. I forgot that it is day ending in Y. Doing stuff, maybe. I'm actually surprised, although maybe it's because I haven't looked at my phone. Usually when GitHub has an outage, I get a alert. But I have not received an alert today. Knock on, knock on all of the wood. Mm, oh, it is actually running. I'm surprised. Okay. Failing check here. Cool. Now to look at how it responds on the other side. That is assuming it doesn't just seed. My garage. My partner's home. Fuck. Fuck. Let me do this one off screen just so it reduces the time a little bit. Ah, that you can still see my keyboard. Yeah, I don't care. Fuck off. Uh. Should have an alarm because I just haven't cleared the light alarm. Uh, oh, there's only one in dead letter, but it is still chirping around here. Wait, why is it a second time? Oh, I see. Huh. I didn't realize the required action shows is uh, not started. Oh, interesting. I don't see the artifact here. Do artifacts not get finalized until the whole job runs? Hmm. It shouldn't be that way, but I also don't know. Lightworker. 
Eventually consistent? Seems dumb that that would be how it works. Oh. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Ta-da. Anyone good with type hinting here? I'm pretty good at type hinting. Theta de de decay lover? Theta decay. Oh, like uh, nuclear stuff. Um, uh, I also don't know if Ethan is still here, but Ethan, uh, Ethan is a MyPy maintainer. Rain. Rain, what, what do? Uh, artifacts. It's the fucking drop song, Chad. Let's go. Yeah, that's the problem. I think artifacts aren't finalized until it has completed. Uh... How does this thing do it? That too, but I meant stock options. Oh, okay, I understand. Class type hinting and testing. Oh. I'm trying to type in any implementation of an ABC class rather than the implementation itself. Yeah, you can't type in a um a uh abstract class because it would allow you to pass an incomplete implementation. I think mine has an error message, and the error message links to some to like a docs page, because I'm pretty sure I've seen that before. But if you change from ABCs to protocols, it should work. Protocols are like the better ABC. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, that's so dumb. Yeah, because we don't see the artifact here. Because I bet it doesn't finalize the artifact container until after this entire thing is completed. Data Decay, lover, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Let's see if we can hit this endpoint. Uh, there's no way we can do this anonymous, right? We're going to have to do token shit. Let's see if we have to do token shit. So ID. Action slash run slash run ID. Artifacts. Oh, we see them. It's right fucking here. Maybe it's there because it's finalized now. No. How come I can see it, but the app can't? <laughs> Mm, 
Wait, where did it go? Bring him at CI light this number. Four six eight four five oh seven three two eight. Very weird. Very weird. There's a way to run this, right? Data. Process message data. I believe it was just JSON string with these four things, but I don't know their install ID. The bit says, could this artifact issue because of the recent GitHub issue? Could also be that. But this was happening for this other user two weeks ago. But two weeks ago was also a day ending in Y. So could just be this is fucked in general. Uh, the other problem is Precommit CI only retries this a couple of times. Like, I think it only gives it three tries. Two weeks ago doesn't it? Why? Yeah, but the day of two weeks ago does. Hmm. Oh wait, this says expired true. Am I looking at the wrong run ID? I'm looking at the wrong run ID. I need to look at this run ID. Hmm. How do you work? No, this is the artifact client. This is the private thing, I think. Yeah, I think this is the private API. Hmm. Must run correctly tomorrow, maybe. All right, let's try. Let's try putting this in a separate file. <laughs> this looks like such nonsense. <laughs> uh... Uh, try pre-commit in a separate file. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I'm gonna need them to run it again. Um, until then, I'm gonna purchase Q. Oh boy. Ender lol, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Because I actually don't have a way to rerun this. I never set it up. Um, this one. Can you click it again? I'm going to see if it reproduces in a separate workflow. GitHub might not finalize artifacts. Uh, with other question mark unclear if they'll be able to get to that update documentation ship it yeah that's what i'm hoping for that's what i'm hoping for All right, let's uh, make a release of pipe grade in the middle of auto update day. What could go wrong? Ooh, it's been so long since I have done this. And apparently the new hotness is to have OIDC do this. Uh, it's maybe better, but feels like a fuck ton of work. Especially for 70 projects. And that I don't do releases automatically anyway. Okay. I mean, that should be fixed. And, um, yeah. I think I'm gonna up there and, um, uh, go hang out with my partner. Um, let's see. My name is Anthony. I upload educational content occasionally to my YouTube channel. I'm going to try and get back into recording videos. I haven't recorded in quite a while um, because I've been busy and because I was on vacation. And my stats are actually not that much worse <laughs> when I don't record videos. Only 30% reduction, although it's only been three weeks, so presumably that will drop further after a fourth week. but. Anyway, I want to get back into recording. I haven't done that in a bit. Uh, if you missed any part of the stream and you want to catch up on previous content, uh, those will get uploaded to the second channel, Anthony Rates Code Dash VODs. Uh, it has been a nice break. Yeah, I haven't, I unfortunately haven't acquired more YouTube video ideas. I have two new ideas, but like, I was hoping I would come up with some more while not uh, recording for a while, but whoops. Uh, I normally stream on Monday evenings and Saturday at noon. I announce my streams in two places. One of those is twitter.com slash codewithanthony, where I announce what I'm going to work on, and then we go and do it. And we did do both these things today. Uh, I also announce my streams on Discord, which you are free to join and come hang out with us. There's a beginner's channel if you want to ask programming questions, and then there's a bunch of other fun social channels as well if you want to just hang out and shoot the shit. Uh, but thank you all for stopping by, and let's go find someone to raid.